Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, I'm back at the Embassy Suites Hotel in Fort Lauderdale. Yes, I got off in Miami uh, off the summit, but I took a taxi down here because I, I'm enjoying this hotel and I, I know they're going to get me to the airport in the morning tomorrow early enough for my flight. So, yeah, I came here, but you know what's going on? I'm about to fly back to Canada and I'm hearing there is like craziness going on in Canada where thousands and thousands of people have been cancelling their travel plans, their flights and etc. all within the last day and a half, two days and, and really I know what you're thinking, you're thinking Omicron, right? But it's not. That's right, a couple of days ago, the Canadian government uh, issued a, a statement saying that they may, be, they may be changing their international travel rules very shortly and re-examining the borders between Canada and the United States. Then the following day, they came out with a do not travel warning. I know, I know it sucks, Canadians. I know you haven't been able to do anything in two years. We've been restricting you. You have to wear masks everywhere you go. There's limitations on your shopping, on your restaurants, on your movie theaters, on your entertainment. You're not allowed to get together with people who are unvaccinated, etc. All these rules and restrictions, I know it sucks, but you know what? It's for your own good, and that's what they're saying. And now they're saying, do not travel. We recommend you don't travel. And you know what? We may have to institute some more travel restrictions in Canada, where we may be looking at that 14-day quarantining again. We may be looking, and, that, and that's even for vaccinated people. Remember when they told you, if you get vaccinated, you don't have to think about that kind of stuff anymore? I mean, United States, you don't have to quarantine. UK, you don't have to quarantine. Canada. You have to You may have to quarantine again because uh, you know, uh, I I don't know, but people have been calling the airlines and just canceling their trips, their Christmas holidays, their New Year's holidays with friends, family, any vacations they had plans, trips to Disney World, cruises. They've been canceling it all, and not because they're afraid of the Omicron virus. That's right. They're not afraid of the Omicron virus. They see the numbers. In, again today, I, 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 I cannot stress it enough that six weeks ago in Ottawa, we had 20 cases a day of the virus and we had seven people in hospital. Nobody in, I, oh sorry, uh, two people in ICU at the time. We're up to 199 cases a day yesterday in Ottawa and still only five people in hospital and nobody in ICU. So cases have been going up, but nobody's going back to the hospitals and no one's getting sicker. So people see that and they're going, what's, what's going on? What's the panic? But the governments don't see that. They're just, they're just listening and saying it's gonna, it could get worse. It could get worse. So we're going to institute all this just in case. And people are not worried about the Omicron virus. They're worried about what their government's going to do and cause them to do. Are they going to miss work when they come back? Are they not going to get paid when they come back? Are their kids not going to be able to go to school when they come back? Et cetera, et cetera. Are they going to have to quarantine for 14 days in a different city, in a hotel? Are they going to institute that three-day quarantine in a hotel where you have to pay for the hotel like they did before and all that idiocy, all that moronic stuff that they did before that literally did nothing to curtail any kind of spread in the virus. In fact, it was proven that 71% of all people who stayed in a quarantine hotel who did, and did test positive for the virus when they got back actually had already left the hotel when they came down with the virus a few days after they left. So all that money people spent, thousands of dollars, two thousand dollars for three days, did nothing. But the government had to look like they're doing something. And again, people are now more afraid in Canada of the government restrictions than they are of the actual virus now. And people have finally started speaking up. The 
Institute for uh, travel agents, the International Travel, uh, WestJet chairman have all come out and said, you know what, <laughs> this makes no sense whatsoever. You're not even basing it on your own science. You're saying you have travel restrictions and you may quarantine air flights from the United States, but people can still drive back and forth across the United States without those restrictions. So uh, yeah. It's a mess right now in Canada, everybody. It's an absolute mess. And uh, I get to fly back into that tomorrow. Yay. Doesn't that sound like a fun thing? Doesn't that sound like fun? Let's, let's head back to these kind of restrictions and everything that they will be announcing by tomorrow. Also in my, my, my province, Ontario, I guarantee you they're going to start announcing Restrictions on get-togethers, restrictions in stores, restrictions in restaurants, early bar closing, early restaurant closing, no bands after 10 o'clock, no alcohol after 10 o'clock, etc, etc, etc. Even though there's absolutely no proof of anything being worse than it has been in the past six months. But hey, that's government. And so, Merry Christmas. Uh, we were hoping that 2022 might look like something a little different and the way our governments are reacting in Canada right now, it looks like it could be worse than 2021. I didn't think it would be possible.